back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are building another house and it's another smaller one. I don't know, I'm really feeling like building smaller houses lately. They're just very, you know, cozy and cute and tiny and I know a lot of you guys also prefer smaller houses for gameplay so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying them. There will be some bigger builds coming up this week, or at least one bigger build coming up this week, because I kind of feel like just going crazy with house shapes a little bit, so I think I'm gonna just jump into it and build something bigger. And I also think that it's mainly gonna be builds that aren't necessarily for the save file this week. For example, this house wasn't necessarily supposed to be in the save file. I do think I'm gonna put it in the save file instead of the house that I had on this lot because I like this one a lot better. So yeah, but other than that, it's not gonna be necessarily houses for the save file. I just need like one week to just go a little bit crazy. Hopefully you guys understand. But yeah, today we are building this small, cozy, cute kind of beach cottage. I started building this early yesterday and then I took a break during the day to play some anthem with my boyfriend and then I went back recording afterwards. I don't think, it didn't, like, it didn't take me that long to record though. I think I had about two hours of recording total, which is not a lot, so maybe I've been sitting here trying to figure out this build for like three hours, three and a half hours total or something like that because I don't record all the time when I'm building because sometimes I pause my recording to just figure out like the layout of the house, the floor plan, or what furniture I want to wear or what I want to do with the garden, especially like landscaping. I'll take a pause and just like sit and stare at the build. <laughs> so I think it took me about like three and a half hours, three to three and a half hours total. And then I had two hours of recording, yeah. But um, not the most time consuming, would you call it that? Time consuming build to do? I don't know, I do like it though. I did this little funny thing here with the windows and I'm planning on recording a tutorial on that today. So if you want to see how I do that, you can come back to the channel tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be up. Otherwise it'll be up later today. I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to release that, but I did get some questions about it on my Discord server. So I thought I would just record a tutorial on that because I feel like it's not, it's not going to be very hard to explain sometimes because I know that a lot of you guys have been requesting tutorials on like a million different things and I just suck at explaining things but I think those windows there will be pretty easy to show and explain to you guys so I'm gonna be doing my best later on today to record that for you but um yeah I don't think the like the room under the roof I don't think it actually works if you have seasons so I decided not to put anything important up there. It's basically like a hobby room. There's a computer up there as well. Cause I did, when I made the house, I thought it would be kind of cool to have a loft bedroom up there, or hopefully you, you would call it that a loft bedroom. <laughs> Anyways, but then I realized that it's actually considered outside. At least I think it is. Cause it's not, it doesn't have any, there aren't any walls around this room, so I think it's considered to be outside, which means that during the winter in your game, it'll be really, really cold up there. <laughs> so I think, um, I think you have seasons. It'll be a little bit difficult for gameplay sometimes, unless you have your Sims wear outer clothes or something like that when they go up there with the computer. But that's why I didn't put a bedroom up there at least because I figured that would be really, really cold like during winter nights. I would not want to sleep in that room, you know? So yeah. But if you don't have seasons, everything should be fine with that room. You can turn it into a bedroom if you want to. I did put a computer up there, like I said before. Then there's also two chairs, a bookcase, there's also a toy chest for the kid and some toys. And then there's an easel as well. So there's a few skill leveling items up there. I just thought it would be important to kind of keep that for gameplay purposes basically in this house because it's a very small house but it's still for it's for two parents and also a kid you could put a pet in here i would suggest a dog over a cat simply because there's no room in the bathroom for a litter box and that's where i usually put my litter boxes just because i don't think they look good on the patio or in the backyard or 
wherever else in the kitchen that would be a little bit nasty <laughs> so yeah that's where i usually put the litter boxes but there's no room for it in the bathroom because there's a bath tub in the bathroom a sink and a toilet and that's it it's a very small two by three bathroom but i did make sure to make room for everything and it should work just fine but definitely no room for a litter box so if you want a pet in here i do suggest a dog unless you want to put the litter box elsewhere then that's completely fine and that'll work too so for the interior i'm using green and yellow and then also white and light with swatches so kind of like beige a little bit because i thought that would be very kind of cute and fresh and a little bit spring like a little bit summery as well and i thought it would fit the exterior of the house very well as well i did use one of the new colors that were added to the base game siding by the way on the exterior and also in the loft the only thing about the at least i'm pretty sure it's new because someone told me that on discord <laughs> and i'm gonna take your word for it anyways the only thing about that color is they only added it to one of the base game sidings so this you know the base game sidings have two different versions like there are two different ones ones and both have two different versions one without columns and one with columns they only added the green one to the one without columns or with columns and i never use that one normally because you can't always like the columns don't always show up on the corners of your builds which is super annoying and i don't know how to fix that as well so i never really used that one so i didn't actually realize because i only checked the base game siding without columns to be honest so that was a bit of a fun surprise i really like that green the only thing is i want them to add the green to the siding without columns because that would be the one that i would use more definitely not the one with columns anyways hopefully you guys know what i mean like understand what i'm saying um but yeah it's a very nice green color it's a little dark well, at least with my reshaded as a little bit dark but i do like it i think it's very cute and the floor plan in this house is also a little bit wonky it's a little bit weird um, the small or the living area is very small the kitchen is also very small they have everything they should need in the kitchen though they have both a fridge a stove a sink and then a an empty counter as well so they can cook on that so it should be working just fine it's just a very small kitchen and they have four four chairs around the dining table so they can even have a guest over however the living area is very small it's basically just a couch and also a chair and that's about it you could put a tv somewhere i guess if you wanted to but it's because i had to place this staircase in the middle of everything like in the middle of the build so they could get up to this floor up here so that's why it's kind of like it's a bit of a funny funny floor plan to be honest but i think it works like it's a it's a it's a bit quirky <laughs> you know but it works so yeah i also really wanted to make sure that there were two bedrooms in this house i'm kind of in a phase where i just want to put as many sims into my builds as possible so for example with the trailer i did in strangerville there were room for five sims total and then a pet as well so i'm kind of in that phase so yeah expect more builds with um a lot of sims or a lot of room for a lot of sims so that's just i find it funny like trying to fit in the bits here and there i just find it funny these days i did consider making the loft a little bit darker compared to the bottom floor but i decided against it anyways because it was just it was too much of a contrast to the very fresh and light interior on the bottom floor and then you just walk up here and everything is just kind of dark and rustic and stuff i didn't feel like that would um that would work together very well but as you can see everything is working just fine up here you can place stuff wherever you want to i didn't want anything to clip with the windows though or the fake windows where i'm using uh how'd you say that glass glass texture for the roofing yes i didn't want anything to clip with that so i had to move the easel back for example but um it's a very cozy little area up here definitely really like it i like how it turned out i also put the computer here right in front of one of the windows that i made with the glass texture 
or, or the glass roof texture because I thought it would be really nice if they could sit there and work while looking over the nature because the nature here on the island in Windenburg is actually really nice. There's a lot of trees and the sun is uh, like you get these sun rays coming through the trees as well. It looks very pretty as you probably saw in the intro if I managed to make the intro anyways. And there's also a lot of water obviously because it's an island <laughs> you know and some hills and stuff like it's a very nice uh it's very nice so like the, the surroundings are very nice is what i'm trying to say i just came to english today anyways <laughs> so um yeah i also decided to clutter up the loft slash attic area just a little bit because i thought it would be realistic to have a few clutter items up there so they can't necessarily use them for anything it's just decor but um, like I said, it just adds a little bit of realism that you'd have some random stuff up there. I know for a fact that our loft right now is really messy. The loft we had in my childhood home was really messy. <laughs> so in my mind, lofts just have a lot of mess in them basically. It's where people just put the things that they don't really use. So yeah, some clutter was needed up there. Anyways, then here we got the parents' bedroom. I love this bed swatch. I actually just love that bed overall. It's from Cats and Dogs. I use it quite a lot, especially for like grandma rooms or something like that because it's a very grandma-like bed to me, especially some of the more yellow red swatches are a little bit grandma or a little bit more grandma-like to me, but it's just like the whole bed in itself very grandma to me so I use it quite a lot for that but um, I thought it would fit this house perfectly also because it's green and it's a very nice green I like that green and in here we got the child's bedroom I don't know if it's a boy or a girl as for color scheme and like lightness of the room and stuff it's just I made it so it fit the rest of the house I didn't really have a girl or a boy in mind but I think it's mainly for a girl. It's a sim that likes nature at least. Obviously, they would be very happy to live in this area too. And they also love animals as well, so. Since there is an easel in the attic, I don't know if maybe one of the parents are a painter. Let me know what you think about that. Because I do think I'm gonna make a family for this house, like I will with a lot of the other lots. By the way, in case you are wondering, I did talk about this earlier, didn't I? But I am working on a save file. I keep getting those questions every single video, and I swear I mention it every single video. I am working on a save file. I don't know when it'll be out, because it's a lot of work, and and we just got a new world with 11 new lots to build on as well so there's a lot of work uh, a lot of work I need to get done there as well so I don't know when it'll be done I'm working hard on it though hopefully around maybe five four four months from now or something I don't fully know but just know that I am working on it just because I'm taking one week where I kind of want to do something else doesn't mean I've stopped working on it. I will be um, I, I will be working very hard on it after this week, so don't worry about that. But I will also be putting some Sims families in that safe house just so the worlds aren't completely empty because I figure that wouldn't be a lot of fun to play in. At least not with like randomized townies everywhere and weird outfits and stuff. So yeah, I'll be doing that. But I can't say for sure when it'll be done because I really don't know. I think after this week is over, I'm gonna aim towards doing three to four builds for the save file per week just to speed it up just a little bit because we have a lot of stuff to do. We have a lot of community builds to do still, so yes, or at least like renovations to do still, so. I'm gonna aim for at least three, but hopefully four builds a week for the save file. And then on top of that, we're also gonna do other stuff like apartment builds, of course. I'm actually done with apartment builds, which is a little bit impressive, I think. Um, there's a lot of apartments inside my Juno. I think I'm missing, yeah, I'm missing the two pent pen files, penthouses. But other than that, all the apartments are done. So right now I'm just building extra apartments that sometimes I'll swap out with the older ones because I like them more. So, um, but other than that, Semashuno is almost done. We're missing some community lots there too, but um, almost done. Willow Creek is almost done. Windenburg, at least the western side of Windenburg is almost done. And other than that, Brindleton. Brindleton Bay is almost done too. I'm missing, I'm missing the vet clinic and a park. 
and then it's done and I'm so excited about that. So anyways, yeah. But yeah, that was just a little update on that in case you were wondering or you were gonna ask, yes, there is a safe file coming in some time from now. I'm, I'm not gonna say when because I don't wanna disappoint anyone if I'm late with it. So yeah, other than that, back to the build. So I think we're done with the interior now and we've moved on to the exterior again. I did only build the house shell before doing landscaping or details on the house itself just in case I needed to expand something you know because it's not always that um it's smart to do all the landscaping and stuff before you do the floor plan for example not always smart I do it a lot myself but sometimes you do need to expand just a little bit here and there so I decided to do the floor plan first and also the interior before moving on to landscaping and all the rest so the little backyard side yard gardening area that they have is actually very it's very small very simple there's a swing and I did make sure to or at least I tried to position the swing in a way so that your sims can still get behind the swing so they can push the kit when it's sitting on the swing because sometimes I realize that I put the swing too close to other stuff and the sims won't be able to do that so I try to position it correctly this time however I only have one playtester sim so I couldn't actually playtest it sorry but I hope it works and then besides that they also have a grill area I did not include this little sand pit box whatever right here I deleted it and then put in the swing instead of that and they also have a flower arrangement table along with a beekeeping house because I thought it would be cute and I was kind of inspired by the surroundings to do that too because it's very outdoorsy to have that outdoors <laughs> so yeah I thought it would be fitting but anyways guys other than that I think we are just about done and we're going into screenshots soon so I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover if you like this build you can download it off the gallery my ID is the Evelyn YT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or Evelyn YT as always if you have any suggestions for anything you want to see here on the channel do let me know in the comment section down below and I will write everything down in my little planner that's not so little, it's actually quite big and it's got a lot of ideas in it so far but I'm always open to more. So um, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye! Startled our eyes, we let go of disguise.